Hello, it's John here for another AFID tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is creating ourselves a sort of stylized uh, LED pin strip sort of light. And then we're going to take it into Unreal and animate it. It should be quite nice. And let's get to it. So I'm going to start by creating myself a cylinder. And let's raise that up. And on the height, let's go to, let's say, four, pull this one out, this one out, fade into that one. You know, it could probably go three. Let's go three on the height as well. Cool, so I'm just going to try and keep this up, like as low poly as I can, since it's going for a game. All right, let's throw an edit poly on this. Oops. Wait for the drop down before I press E. Cool. And let's create our shape. Ultimately, I want to grab both of these and I'm just going to scale them out a little bit. Yeah, that should be quite f that should be fine. I'm gonna take these two as well and touch them up a little bit. Move them up a little bit. Take you, push you out. So, so I want a bump in there just to give it a bit of style. And this is going to be the edge, which I'll move up and put about there. Let's jump across to here, grab you, and move you up. All right then, so this part here, this is where we want the light to play and the rest of it can sort of just be, you know, whatever it wants to be like, a sort of dull metal or a pattern or how, whatever you sort of want from that. But I think for now I'm just going to probably just set it as black. Cool, all right, next step, let's quickly arrange our UVs on this. Oopsie daisy. Select you first and unwrap. Cool. Open our UV editor and all I'm gonna do is just flatten it. And default should be fine. Cool. Alright, let's find which parts are top part. So it's that part there. So what we want to do real quick is just Get all of you, scale you all down a lot. Loosely, I should do. And just tuck you away over here. I'm going to grab all of these guys, pal you up over in this corner. And then I somehow need to just grab these, which is going to be a pain. Put you over there. I'm gonna scale you up a bit as well so you get a little bit more info out of that. And let's scale you guys up as well. Not that much. You know what? That'll be fine. That'll be good. Cool. Alright, now we've got that. I'm just going to render my template out. So I'm just gonna to go to tools, render. Save it to wherever, and then, cool. And at this point as well, while I'm here, let's just, I'm gonna render, let me just, oops. So I'll put the final touch on here before I export that out. Export, select my vertices, grab them all, and I'm going to just connect them. Awesome. So it's probably higher poly than it needs to be, but you know what, it'll do. And now I've got this, I'm just going to export that out as an OBJ or an FBX to move it across. So file, export, and then I'm gonna jump across into Photoshop. 
Okay, so I'm in Photoshop and I've opened my UVs that I just exported out of Max. So what I'm gonna do is Alt Delete, well, Alt Backspace, and just put a color down on the background. And yeah, that, that'll be sort of fine for now. So this base part here is going to be sort of this gray tone, you know, sort of set that up how you will probably want it to be a bit darker than that actually but this top part here is where we're going to have our fun so what I'm going to do is just create a box so nice simple rectangle and I want to make sure it covers the whole thing about there it's going to give us a bit of room to play with so what we want to do with this is actually give it a gradient fill and we want a three-part gradient so we pretty much want it to loosely go from almost black to white to almost black. And let's just set you to zero. So what's going to happen is it's going to look like the lights are turning off and on. Or like, you know, like at least it's sort of powering up more and less. And I want more white than I do the sort of darker areas. So I'm just going to play with the gradient a little bit. Cool. That should be quite nice. And like I say, all we're going to do with this is we're just going to sort of run it back and forth. You know what? The it gets too dark, I think. Let's just change these to a bit sort of brighter. And for massive consistency, let's copy and paste due and paste due into here as well. Cool. And I'm going to save this. Oh, almost forgot. Turn off UVs. So I'm going to save this and import all my stuff into Unreal now. So my model that I exported out and this file that I've just created now. So save as a PNG. Okay, so I've now imported both things into Unreal. So I've got my static mesh, which I made earlier. Looking fine, that's fine. No issues up there. Let's have a quick look at the collision. Just put a very simple collision. Yeah, that'll be fine get you out of here and then we've got our material so let's put one of you in here and I'm just going to rotate you down 90 degrees and hit end to drop it on the floor and let's create a few duplicates shall we so I'm just holding alt Awesome. What we need to do now is right click this and create our material. And yeah, LED UVs map is fine. So inside our material editor, this is where we're gonna have our fun with it. So I'm gonna hold three and choose my color. Let's go for, let's go for green. I'm gonna have a green LED and I want to multiply them by each other. And then I want to multiply that by just another number to make it more emissive. So let's go 12 and put you into emissive, detach you. And then the final point is to create a panner. And we just want to move this gradient back and forth. So let's, let's just say one, just to sort of see how that looks. And then once that's saved, ooh, you know what? We are going to do jump back into Photoshop and set this much darker, much much darker. Let's just set you to black for now, and then I'm just going to save it and re-import it. 
and let me re-import you just because otherwise we're getting too much on that okay that's better so now what we can do is I'm just going to put you there for now get a object and let's tell it that the material is going to be LED UVs map and hit save close you and now if I simulate so I've got the whole colors going on there we go we've got our material moving looks all right I want to tweak it and this is sort of the nice part about having Photoshop open right there with you because you know what the gray is should be a bit darker and let's do the same on this side and I think there's just too much white for so too long and I'm just going to save that again and inside Unreal I'm just going to right click it and say re-import there we go it gives us a lot more sub difference now ultimately maybe I should go a bit darker but it's fine yeah I think I'm going to go a little bit darker just personal preference but there you go you get the idea we have created like a nice sort of like little LED that's sort of pulsing up and down and we can choose whatever sort of color we want it to be and how we want that to work cool there you go hope you found that useful and sort of just like a fun little exercise to do thanks for watching